Guns, gangs, and gas stations are only a few issues that law enforcement faces in the city of Jackson, but they are working around the clock to change the narrative. 12 News, Tia McKenzie spoke to the chief of police about his solution-based approach to addressing problems in the capital city. The Jackson Police Department hosted its real-time command center meeting at New Vineyard Church where several topics were discussed, including illegal dumping, gang activity, and auto theft. Uh, four of them were the auto burglaries, <coughs> and uh, I'll talk about that real briefly here about the auto burglaries. JPD recovered a stolen vehicle Wednesday night. Police are expanding their presence around the city with Seoul, especially at gas stations following recent deadly shootings. Gas up, guns down is just one of the many initiatives being incorporated to combat crime. Chief Joseph Way believes in transparency and says he appreciates the outpour of support from the community. I was so excited when I pulled up and I saw the parking lot full. That's amazing. That's progress. It shows that the community is involved with what's going on in the police department. They're getting the message. And we're not holding anything back in these meetings. We're talking about numbers. We're talking about suspects. We're talking about who we're looking for. We got the Jackson FBI here in the room with us. We're working in collaboration with all law enforcement. JPD has identified 30 gangs in the city. They're targeting specific areas with strategic methods on how to address these issues. I have never been naive and said we don't need help. I've just always asked to be at the table and be a part of the conversation about what help looks like. Now we're a part of the conversation. We now have respect back in the community, but we also have respect back in the law enforcement community, which is absolutely important. This month alone, the city has seen four homicides compared to 12 homicides this time last year. Leaders say there is still more work to be done. Tia McKenzie, 12 News.